is about to appear. Whizzing over to whisk you away. On a fabulous journey today. Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Sailor. Are you ready to take an adventure in reading? Let's go. Hi, boys and girls. This week in reading, you read the biography, Dr. Seuss. We're going to practice a comprehension strategy that you can use when reading Dr. Seuss. Comprehension means that you're thinking about reading. Do you remember which part of your body you use to think? You got it, you use your brain. So get your brains warmed up. Our comprehension strategy is looking at text and graphic features. The text are parts of the text, such as titles and labels. The features are photos or drawings that stand for ideas and add details. Let's take a look at this page from our story, Dr. Seuss. The arrow is pointing to a part on this page. What do we call the part that the arrow is pointing to? It's a photograph. Photographs show real pictures. So this is a real picture of Dr. Seuss. Let's look at this page from our story. My arrow is pointing to some words. I noticed that these words are a lot darker than the other words on the page. That's a special type of print. We call that bold print. Bold print makes words stand out on the page. So the author wanted us to notice these words, the cat in the hat. Let's take a look at this page from our story. Our arrow is pointing to a box with some words in it. Do you know what we call those words? They're called captions. Captions tell us more information about pictures. So I can read this caption to find out more about my picture. It says, Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden. Let's look at this page from our story. See if you can identify some of the text and graphic features that we just talked about. Take a look at the blue arrow. What do you think it's pointing to? A photograph, bold print, or a caption? You got it, boys and girls. It's pointing to a photograph. Remember, photographs show us real pictures. Take a look at the red arrow. What do you think that's pointing to? A photograph, bold print, or a caption? You got it again, bold print. Remember, bold print is used so that certain words stand out. Let's try this page. What is the green arrow pointing to? You got it again. It's pointing to a photograph of real things. How about the yellow arrow? It's pointing to bold print. Bold print makes those words stand out on the page. When you're reading this week, I want you to pay attention to your text and graphic features. They will give you more information when you read. You've done a great job today, boys and girls. I'll see you next time.